Hey, Boat Dragons. Let's talk 2023. Thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate all you do to support the channel. Boy, oh boy, this year has flown by fast. It is already approaching the end of 2022, and I thought it was a good time to talk about my reading plans for 2023. I've got a lot of books to talk about here. I'll try and keep it short and concise, but I did want to let you know what I am planning to read in the new year. Make sure that you stay till the end of the video. I do have something special I am going to show you, but you have to stick around to the end of the video. Now, I am gonna have timestamps, chapters like I always do, so there's always gonna be a few people that are just gonna skip to the end so that they can see the, the something special, and, and that's fine, I get it. I. I I understand, feel free to do that. Just, you know, please come back and watch the rest of the video, but if you just can't wait, you, you can feel free to skip ahead and, and see what the special thing is. But if you're willing to hang out with me and, and wait till the end, we're gonna talk about my book plans for 2023. I have broken these up into two tiers. I've got my priority one list, and that is the books that I have made an absolute priority. I really, really want to get to them in 2023, and they are going to take precedence over other things. And then I've got my priority two list, and that is books that I also want to get to, but I am flexible. I'm, I'm remaining open-minded as to whether or not I actually get to them or not. And, and some of them I want to get to more than others. But if I made a, just a bunch of priority lists, I'd have like five priority lists and that would get really complicated. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> so uh, we are going to talk about my priority one list first, and then we'll talk about the priority two list. And uh, feel free to chat with me in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on some of the choices I made for books in 2023. And uh, not only do I have a special something that I want to show you at the end of the video, I also have a special live stream that I'm going to do. And I will talk about that after I get to the end of these lists, okay? Make sure to like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Join my Discord, all that fun stuff. You know the drill. And without any further ado, let's get right to it. I am going to put on my glasses here so that I can actually see because I've got I've got my whole list written down here right in front of me, and I want to make sure that I don't miss anything, because if I miss anything, I'll be going back and taking up more of your time, and we, we don't need that. So the first book series on my priority list is The Secret Novels by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, I didn't go in for the really expensive Kickstarter project on, on those secret novels. I just backed the ebooks. Uh, that was the cheapest here, and I made a commitment a long time ago to buy all of Brandon Sanderson's books on ebook. So I, I just went with the ebook tier. So those will be releasing next year, and he's releasing one every three months. So the first one's going to come in January, and that is Tress of the Emerald Sea. I don't know much about it. I think Hoyd narrates it, but but I'm not I, I I'm not too sure. I didn't watch the spoiler streams that he did for it. I kind of wanted to go into it blind. I didn't read the first chapters that he released or anything like that. You know, uh, going in blind is important to me for most things. Yeah. Uh, so the next one, and this this is huge. This is an absolute high commitment for me. I am going to finish the Dresden Files in 2023, uh, or at least finish it up to date where it is. He hasn't finished the series, uh, but I am going to continue reading one per month until I finish the series. Uh, actually, when I get to Peace Talks and Battleground, I'm going to read those both in the same month. They were originally planned to be one book, and he was forced 
basically to split it into two books. So I want to read them back to back. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to be reading one a month until I catch myself up in the Dresden Files because I'm absolutely hooked, guys. I just, I can't, I can't put it down. It's hard enough for me to put it down after after just doing one book in the month. I'm like, no, wait, wait, what's happening next? I can't. I've got to. I've got to see more. But I, I, I've, I made a commitment to just do one a month for now, and I'll be patient and wait until the next month for the next book. So uh, there you go. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to finish the Manhunters by Jesse Teller. Uh, Jesse's a friend of mine. He writes in a world called Perilisk, and he's a self-published author. And I read the first two books, which are Song and Hemlock, and I need to read the third book, which is titled Crown. It's only one book. I can easily crank that out. And I do want to read more Perilisk eventually, and I'll, I'll talk about that later on. But I definitely want to finish the Manhunter series. And then I also want to finish The Shades of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I read A Darker Shade of Magic a few months ago and absolutely loved it. It was a banger read for me. So uh, I can't wait to get to the final two books in that series. And uh, it's not technically the final two because she is writing more books in The Shades of Magic, which I'm really excited about if... If the other two books are half as good as the first book was, I'm going to be sold. So I want to finish that. I also want to finish the Hyperion Cantos. I have read Hyperion and Fall of Hyperion. I need to read Endymion and Rise of Endymion. So that's going to be a priority for me in 2023. I want to knock those out as soon as I can. I'm going to finish Tommy and Tuppence. Now, this is a five-book series by Agatha Christie. Tommy and Tuppence Beresford are one of her signature detective sets. And uh, I absolutely love The Secret Adversary. Uh, I, I read all the books when I was younger, and I, I don't remember hardly anything about them. So I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing to read those. And I'll be reading those with my friend Mona Lisa over at Mona Lisa Reads. And... Uh, I'm really excited to continue reading more Agatha Christie. I'm going to continue reading the Shannara World of Terror. I guess it's the Shannara Chronicles officially. And I'm going to start with the High Druid of Shannara Trilogy. That is my next chronological step in the series where I'm at so far. So very, very excited to continue that. I am going to continue reading The Expanse. I only read Leviathan Wakes. And I really want to continue the series and see where it goes because Leviathan Wakes was absolutely fantastic. And uh, I love the show as well. So I really have a good feeling that I am going to thoroughly enjoy this series. And I'll be starting next year uh, with Caliban's War at the very least. I'm going to continue the Dune Saga. I have read Dune and I have read Dune Messiah officially. So I need to continue and finish out at least the next two books, if not the entire six book core saga. So that is on my plate for 2023, a must read. I am also going to read the Live Ship Traders series by Robin Hobb. Hobb is quickly becoming one of my favorite writers. Uh, I am currently deep in the middle of Assassin's Quest I'm about to finish the Farseer trilogy, and so I am looking forward to continuing the series and, and reading The Live Ship Traders. I'm also going to read Earthsea. Now, I read The Wizard of Earthsea many years ago. I remember bits and pieces of it, but I don't remember a whole lot. To do it justice, I feel like I need to reread Wizard of Earthsea and then continue on and finish the series. So I am going to do that in 2023. I'm going to start reading Earthsea again. I want to read Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Now, I have read the first two books a long time ago. I read it with my kids. I, I remember very little about it. Again, just like Earthsea. So I am planning to reread the first two books and finish the series, Part of my impetus for this is the fact that 
the new Disney Plus series is coming out, I think, sometime in 2023, if I'm not mistaken. So I, I want to have read the series so that I can more adequately critique the show. You, you know how that goes. I've got to, I've got to have my, my, my critique credentials ready to go for that. So <laughs> we, we, we shall see how that goes. Um, and then my final priority on my priority one list is to read The Great Cities Duology uh, by N.K. Jemison. This is The City We Became and The World We Make. I have heard nothing but good. Well, I might have heard a few negative things, but, but overall, I, I've heard really, really good things about this duology, and I'm very excited to see what happens with it because I'm a huge fan of the Broken Earth trilogy. N.K. Jemison has proved to me that she's an author that I want to keep reading, so I'm going to start with that series. So that's priority one. Let's move on to priority two. And you're going to notice a trend on this list of it being a lot of series that I want to start, maybe not necessarily finish, but I at least want to start them, okay? And that's kind of what happens with priority two, right? If you've got a bunch of books on priority one, <laughs> you might not have a whole lot of time for priority two. So, you know, it's, it is how it is. So the first series I want to start on this list is The Band by Nicholas Ames. And this is Kings of the Wild. I've been longing to read that book for the longest time. I love classic hairband rock and, and, I, and I love a good old sword and sorcery tale. And I've heard nothing but good things about Kings of the Wild. So I am going to read that. I might possibly get to Bloody Rose as well. I do have both of them. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, but I want to at least read Kings of the Wild. I also want to start the Prince of Nothing series by R. Scott Baker. And that would be the darkness that comes before first book in the series. I keep hearing about this book over and over again. I've heard a lot about it, especially this year. And so I, I want to get into this series and see what it's like. I know the books are really dark, which I don't mind. I like a good dark fantasy tale. And uh, I know they're really gritty, and I know they're really chunky books. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But um, I've, I've noticed that I, I've had a hard time getting into really thick books uh, over the last year. So we'll see how that goes. But I do want to read it. Next one is God Blind by Anna Stevens. Uh, this is another series that I've heard really good things about. I, I never hear it talked about on BookTube with the exception of a couple of BookTubers. Uh, Mike from Mike's Book Reviews did a series review on it a while back and stuff like that. So I've been wanting to get to it. I just haven't had a chance. So I do want to read God Blind and see what I think of the series. I'm also going to start The Dragonlance Chronicles by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. I already know I'm a fan of their writing because I completed the Deathgate cycle this year, so I've been wanting to read the Dragonlance Chronicles. I've never done it, and I think it's about time. What do you think? I'm also going to start the Hannibal Lecter series. I am a huge fan, maybe that's kind of creepy to say that, but I'm a huge fan of Hannibal Lecter as a character. He's just a fascinating character. Um, my kids and I recently watched the Hannibal TV series, and of course I saw Silence of the Lambs way back in the day. I'm a huge fan of the character, and so I want to see what the books are actually like, because I've, I've never read the books. I also want to start the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. Now, I had planned to read Malice this year. It didn't happen. <laughs> I kept putting it off and putting it off. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll move that to next month. And eventually it just moved off my TBR for the year altogether. And I'm like, well, okay, I guess it's going to be next year. So I, I do want to at least read Malice in 2023, maybe even continue the series if it really blows me away. And from what I've heard, John Gwynn is probably going to blow me away. So, so there is that. <laughs> I am also going to start the Sun Eater series by Christopher Rocchio. 
Empire of Silence being the first book. And uh, I have heard time and time again from so many of my booktube friends, Chaz, you need to read the Sun Eater series. Chaz, have you started Sun Eater yet? Chaz, why haven't you started this yet? <laughs> um, and, and, and I've heard really good things about it. I, I've heard it's it kind of a mix between science fiction and fantasy, and I like that kind of thing. I, I like books that kind of blur the lines between genres, so I have a feeling I'll like it, so I'm going to start that. I'm also going to start Mistborn Era 2. And, and this is one that I put on my priority two list because I've heard so many mixed things about it. A lot of people love it. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people are just kind of meh about it. So I, I do want to find out what I think for myself. You know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I do... I do plan to read The Alloy of Law in 2023, and we'll see how the rest of the series pans out for me if I like Alloy of Law. I'm also going to read The Elric Saga by Michael Moorcock. I have all three of the new collector's volumes of The Elric Saga, and then I know he's releasing a new book. In fact, I think it might already be out. Uh, a new book in the series, a, a new first, you know, never never told story in the series. So that's kind of cool. But I want to read the original series first. So I am going to at least start with the first volume of the Elric Saga. I'm also going to start reading Drist. Uh, I'm going to read The Crystal Shard sometime this year, probably, because I've heard that Drist is just a fantastic series, a fantastic character. I, I'm, I'm very intrigued. I, I have been for a long time, and I've just never made it a priority. So it goes on my priority two list. I'm also going to read more Agatha Christie. I've got other books after Tommy and Tuppence that I'm planning to read, some of her standalone novels that weren't part of the core characters like Poirot and Miss Marple and Tommy and Tuppence. She's got other standalones that I want to read as well. And I'm probably going to be reading some of those this year. Um, I'm going to finish Foundation if I can. I, I read the first book, uh, Foundation. Uh, I still need to read the other two books in the series. I like Foundation. It was fine. Uh, pretty good sci-fi. I was quite impressed. So for my first foray into Asimov, it was, it was a good read. And I'm curious to see what happens with the other two books. I'm going to read Empire of the Vampire if I get around to it. So that's on my priority two list. Again, a book that I've heard a lot of mixed things about, but uh, I want to give it a shot. I love me some vampires. I, I would love any chance to read a vampire book. So I, I've got to read this one. And the cover is go just gorgeous. I mean, I'm going to put it right up here. I mean, look at this. It's just an absolutely gorgeous cover. And I've seen special editions that are pretty much blood red all over that I really want. But I have to like the book enough before I decide to buy a physical copy of it just for the aesthetics of it. So we shall see. I'm also going to read Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I still have not read Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, but um, it's such a chunky book that I'm, I'm still putting that on the back burner for now. But Piranesi has me really intrigued. And so I'm, I'm definitely hoping I can get to Piranesi. I also want to read Tigana by Guy Gabriel Kay. Uh, again, a book I've heard so many good things about. And it's one of his more fantastical books. I know he writes more unique worlds that are focused more on historical fiction or historical retellings. But uh, he does have a few that are more fantastical in nature. And this is one of those from what I understand. So I, I want this to be my first experience of Guy Gabriel K. I'm also hoping to read Artemis and Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I love The Martian. Uh, it's one of my daughter's favorite books. And, and she said that Project Hail Mary is actually better than The Martian. So 
I'm like, okay, so I got to at least get to that one. Hopefully I'll get to Artemis as well. I've heard really good things. And so those are on my priority too. And finally, I want to give a shot to the trader Baru Cormorant. This is a book that I hardly ever hear anything about on BookTube, but Alex from Tall Guy Reads did a review for it not too long ago, and he, he just captivated me so much with that review and won me over to the fact that I actually just need to bite the bullet and read this book. So I really hope to get to that in 2023 as well. Plus, you know, I, I'm a mood reader, so I'm going to have slots open for electives and stuff like that. So some of those priority two books will probably fill in elective slots, but they also might not. So that's kind of why I have the, the two different lists. And uh, that is it. Those are some hefty goals for 2023. I know. I, I know they are. I'm really excited to get to some of these series and if I don't at least put them on a list of goals it's just not going to happen so uh, make sure to let me know in the comments and hit me up on discord chat with me about my choices for the year I, I'm going to put my list on my discord so that you can look it over and, and and see all the books that I talked about today and Maybe you can check in with me from time to time and say, hey, Chaz, how you doing on that priority list? And I might be like, oh boy, I don't know how I'm doing on that priority list. Or I might be like, yeah, I'm doing great. So we shall see. Now that we've covered my 2023 goals, I have an announcement that I need to make. And that is for a special live stream that I am doing more to come on that you'll you'll see the date pop up and so make sure to watch for it uh, make sure to put it on your calendars because i am going to be doing a live stream to put together my calendar for 2023 so we're going to take this list and we're going to talk about where i might place some of those books on my reading chart for 2023 i've got a I've got a whole spreadsheet set up with all the different months planned out and, and I want to plug some of these books into it. So you're going to get to join me for that live stream and maybe help me decide where I should place some of those books, where I should fit in some electives. And while we're at it, it's going to be an open Q&A. You, you can ask me anything and we might go for two hours, three hours. I don't think we'll go for four hours, probably not three hours, but hey, you, you never know, right? Make sure to tune into that live stream. Come with questions to ask me, and you, you just get to watch me kind of plug stuff into my calendar, and uh, I hope you enjoy that. So uh, now that wasn't the special thing that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. That, that was just a fun announcement that I wanted to let you know about. So now it is time for that special little addition to the video that I promised you all the way back at the beginning of the video. And that is my new intro video. I have had my current intro for my videos for a long time. You know, that that's the one that zooms back and forth on my bookshelf and it has the, the cool music playing in the background and, and that's cool. But I decided it was time for a new intro, a little bit simpler, but I'm still cool. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's still going to be fun, but it, it's a little bit simpler. It's a little bit shorter, more concise, and it's not quite as busy. And uh, so I want to showcase that now. So are you ready? Here it is. <laughs> Tell me what you think of the new intro, huh? That intro is set to go live in, on my first video of December. You can look forward to seeing that new intro on my videos going forward. And that is the end of this ginormous video. If you stayed this long, bless your heart. Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing day. Make sure you read more books. And we'll talk soon.